Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The environment shown on screen currently is the expert edit mode within the photo editor. As we discussed when looking at the organizer environment, if you are used to a typical Windows environment, then you will have some familiar tools available to you. Let's take a moment to acquaint ourselves with the various parts of the environment and what we can do through the objects that are contained within it. At the top of the program window, you'll find a menu bar. At the right end are three buttons that allow us to control the size and shape of the application window. Minimize, Maximize and Restore, and Close. Note that when you click these buttons, that controls the sizing of the entire application window, not just the image file upon which you happen to be working. You can also access these same commands by using the System Menu button at the opposite or left end of the menu bar. Just click on it and then make your window selection. The menu bar also contains the commands for performing tasks in Expert Edit mode, grouped by category. For example, the File command contains all of the necessary commands for file management. You can click on one of the commands in the menu bar to display a drop-down listing of the subcommands that are available to perform. You can then click on the command that you want to perform. Some commands are followed by a right pointing arrow. That indicates that you must make a selection to execute that command from a side menu that appears. Simply hold your mouse pointer over these commands until you see the side menu appear then slide your mouse pointer into the side menu to click on one of the commands that are available. Some commands are followed by an ellipsis mark. These commands will then launch a dialog box when they are clicked into which you must input additional information or make a selection before you can execute that command. For example, if you selected File and then Open from the menu bar, you will be presented with the Open dialog box where you would need to find a file to open for editing. In the dialog boxes that do appear, you can click the Cancel button or press the Escape key on your keyboard to cancel the window without making a choice. If you are interested in simply becoming a faster user of the Elements program, then it will help you to memorize the keyboard shortcuts that are available for use within the various commands shown in the menu bar. Using the menu bar to begin also will allow you to view the various keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are listed to the right of the various commands in the menu bar drop-down menus. So for example, if you wanted to view the open dialog box again, you could press the control key on your keyboard and then tap the O key on your keyboard to make it appear more quickly in the future. If you're using the menu bar, you can see that the keyboard shortcut of Control plus O is shown to the right of the open command in the File menu bar commands drop down menu. Now after the menu bar you'll see the shortcuts bar. You can use the open drop down at the far left end to open images that have been recently opened and also create a new file. In the middle of the shortcuts bar are the buttons that you use to switch between the various edit modes. At the right end are the create and share drop down buttons which allow you to create and share calendars, collages, and more. Below the shortcuts bar you have the image window, the main workspace of the elements program. The various images that you open and create will display themselves here in their own window. At the very top of the image window, tabs will be displayed that represent the various open images. You can switch between multiple open images by simply clicking on the tab name. Below the image window is the status bar, which displays information about the particular image you are currently working on. Just below the status bar is the tools options bar. Here you can set the options for the tools that you have selected from the toolbox. 
As a result, the Tools Options bar is constantly changing as you select different tools, showing different buttons and settings depending on which tool is currently selected. So as you learn how to use the tools, check here to set additional options for your currently selected tool. You can also use the various toolbars and panels to edit the images. The main palette that we have to select image editing tools is the toolbox. You can use it to select various tools that assist you in selecting and editing image elements. You can click on a button within the toolbox to activate the selected tool. Some of the buttons also have small triangles that appear in the upper right corners that become visible when you hover over the tools. The triangle indicates that the icon represents two or more tools that are similar in functionality. For example, you can click to select the healing brush tool and then look in the tools options bar to see that there are two different tools to choose from. The healing brush and the spot healing brush. You select the tool that you want by clicking the corresponding button that appears in the tools options bar. When you do, that will be the default tool that is then displayed in the toolbox from that point on. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the tool names and locations so that you can find them later. You can also hold your mouse pointer over any one of the buttons to view its name in a screen tip which is the small box that appears. Note that it will also show the keyboard shortcut that you can press to select the toolbox button. You can turn the toolbox itself on and off by selecting Window from the menu bar and selecting the Tools command. You can check or uncheck that command to toggle the toolbox's display on and off. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.